In this session, we are going to see how to add UI button using Interface Builder. Let's start by creating a new project and name it as UI button. Open the iPhone XIB file. Now let's start by changing the background color of the parent view from its default gray to black using the Attributes Inspector. For adding buttons using Interface Builder, first drag and drop the round rec button object from Object Library to the view. Various properties of UI button includes type, title, text color, text alignment, image, background image, etc. In order to add an image to the button, first add an image to the project resource. Now select the added image as the background image for the button. Run the application to see the button with the modifications made. Currently, there is no action given to the button. Before that, let's remove the background image from the button for now. Now let's see how to add an action to a button. So open the interface file of the class from the Assistant Editor. Then right-click the button in the XIB and drag the touch-up inside connection to the code to insert button action. In the dialog which appears, we can give a name for the button action. Once we finish adding these specifications for the action, click Connect to establish the connection. Now move to the implementation of the button action method in the implementation file. Here we are going to change the view's background color to light gray color on button click. Let's run the application and see how it's working. As we can see, when I click the button, the background color of the view is changing. Now we can write the code to toggle the selected state of the button on each button click, and based on that, we are going to change the background color of the view, along with the button title. There are four state configurations available for a button by default. They are Default, Highlighted, Selected, and Disabled. Let's give different title for the button for different states of the button. Now go ahead and run the application. As we can see, the title of the button changes based on its current state. 